ancient Greece was not a unified country. It was rather a collection of city-states, all warring against each other for ultimate hegemony over the Greek world. Most famous of these are the states of Athens and Sparta, both of whom were locked in a bitter rivalry which claimed many Greek lives. However, as both sides weakened from the constant wars, one city-state in the land of Boeotia would rise to be prominent in the Greek world. This is the history of the city-state of Thebes. Strategically located on a low plateau commanding the surrounding plains of Boeotia, Thebes was first inhabited in around 3000 BC. From 2500 BC, there is proof of food and wool manufacturing, as well as storage, grinding stones and terracotta loom weights. As well as this, spools and Bronze Age carpentry tools are also found. Trade, both nearby and even further afield, is suggested via the presence of valuable items such as gold, silver, ivory and Seladic influenced stone vessels. Thebes continued to grow throughout the Bronze Age, however, towards the end of this period, Thebes was rocked by a series of earthquakes, which resulted in large fires, destroying much of the town. Following the Dark Ages in Greece, Thebes re-emerged as an influential Greek city-state, and for the subsequent four centuries, the town would be a steady rival to Athens and Sparta for regional dominance. Most shockingly, Thebes sided with Persia when Persia invaded Greece in 480 BC. The resulting war would become known as the Greco-Persian Wars, with Sparta emerging as a dominant land power and Athens being unmatched on the sea. However, not all Thebans agreed with their city's decision to ally with Persia. Indeed, a selection of Thebans were present at the Battle of Thermopylae, fighting alongside the Spartans. Knowing that they couldn't return to their home city, otherwise they would be executed, these Thebans decided to stand their ground to the last man, fighting alongside King Leonidas's famous 300 Spartans until the very end. The alliance of Sparta and Athens would eventually triumph over the invading Persians. However, peace in the Greek world is never certain, and soon the two rival city-states were at each other's throats. The resulting Peloponnesian War would be one of the most devastating wars Greece would ever face, with Athens and Sparta locked in a deadly stalemate. Thebes decided to take advantage of the situation and sided with the Spartans. However, following the Spartan victory over Athens, many Theban forts were beginning to be garrisoned by Spartans. This did not sit well with the Thebans, who began to see the Spartans as less of an ally and more of an occupying foreign force. Soon, Thebes began reorganising their army, knowing that a conflict with Sparta was all but inevitable. Introducing the famous Sacred Band, Thebes would kick Sparta out of Boeotia and began to claim hegemony over the Greek city-states. With the Spartans defeated, Thebes claimed hegemony over all of Greece and began taking political prisoners. One of these prisoners was a young Philip of Macedon. Philip would spend most of his childhood in Thebes, gaining a military education from the Thebans. Philip realised how the Thebans had achieved hegemony over the Greek city-states, and that was purely because their army was swelled compared to regular hoplites. Philip began to think how he could implement such things in the Macedonian army. Before long, Philip left Thebes in order to claim the throne of Macedon. However, Thebes had made a drastic mistake letting Philip go. Within no time, Philip implemented the lessons he had learnt in Thebes and began expanding Macedon's borders to include much of Thrace and much of Thessaly. Macedon now bordered many of the classical Greek city-states and presented a real threat to the hegemony of Thebes. Convinced by the Athenians that Philip was going to invade, Thebes allied with their former enemy and marched out with the Athenians to face Philip in open battle. However, in the resulting Battle of Chironia, 
Philip triumphed over the Thebans, destroying the sacred band and marching to their capital. Once there, Philip installed a garrison. However, due to his childhood being predominantly based in Thebes, he was merciful towards the Thebans. With Thebes defeated, Macedon became the dominant power in ancient Greece. However, peace would not last long, for Philip was assassinated soon after his victory. Thebes, recognizing this was a chance to shake off the Macedonian yoke, revolted against their new king, Alexander the Great. However, Alexander, in what can only be described as a blitzkrieg, stormed down from Macedon into Thebes, took the city and sacked it. Thebes would never recover from this and became nothing more than a footnote in history. Never again would Thebes rise to dominance and never again would the sacred band march on the battlefield. Thanks for watching and listening to our video. If you like the channel, consider subscribing to Ancient History Guy. Or, if you really like the channel, head on over to our Patreon feed. There, for as little as $1 a month, you can gain access to exclusive documentaries, behind the scene footage, and videos before they're live on YouTube. All sources are listed and linked in the description below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.